All right, everyone. Here we are with another video with the Invest for Tomorrow. To all the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all the subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video and to stay tuned on in towards the second half of the video, guys. Right after this chart analysis, I have a ticker symbol to share with you guys, as well as the opportunities I mentioned over at the Discord this morning. I managed to find four home run opportunities, like the ones popping up now on the screen of 20% plus at their highest point of possibility. If that's something that interests you and you want to become part of, the link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. And you can become part of that too. We look forward to having you join us. So WISH stock context logic Inc has been pulling downwards and it reached the tens, right? We talked about how this is getting closer to the $10 mark, but it bounced off of it. So there's a few things I want us to realize here, and we're still below the 50 day moving average. This is in tug of war zone and the bulls seem to have appeared. But what happened here, I don't want it to happen to us again as investors that are looking at this and actually believe that it's going to push up when look what happened right after, right? The next day it collapsed. So there's something that I'm looking for as an investor more than anything in this chart and it's consolidation. Okay. I think that's more healthy than just seeing this start popping upwards to newer highs because the higher it goes, the bigger the drop. Okay. And we saw that right there. Now, this could be a point of reversal. Who knows? We won't know just yet. We got to see how this plays out tomorrow and even going into the beginning of next week and how the overall market continues to play out. Because look at the overall market pulled back. And we still managed to find four home run opportunities over at the Discord. We look for opportunities every single day, whether the stock market's up or down. But look at that. That's something that can affect overall growth sectors and high PE ratio stocks. And Wish is not just profitable yet, and it has a high PE ratio. Now, it's working on becoming profitable, but this stock has a lot of potential and a lot of opportunity in the sector it's in and a lot of growth to come according to analysis ratings, articles, and everything out there. And they're stating that this is more than just quote unquote, a meme stock. If you go ahead, look it up. There's a lot of articles talking about that. So wish seems to be undervalued just based off of analysis ratings, but this stock right now is looking for either strength or consolidation before it goes any higher. I think that's what it needs to look for. If not, it can pull right back down because it is in a position of weakness. Okay. This has been in a position of weakness for some time and it could possibly continue to pull back if this was not the bottom. And that's why this support level is key guys, which we're going to talk about now. And we're going to dissect this chart into different levels so we can watch it very carefully. So the first thing is the support all the way down here of 970 guys, 970 is key. Okay. You want to have that written down. That's your first most important support level that lets you know if there's some strength here or weakness of this going any lower to newer support levels and deeper into bearish territory. Okay. Now the lowest point reached today is 10 11. You want to write that down. So if 10.11 gets broken through, you want to watch how this reacts between 10.11 and 9.70. See if the bulls try to reappear and bring it back up or if the bears continue to tear this one down. Now, we're going to narrow this down very closely here and we're going to look at this in a much more narrow perspective. So after jumping up and pulling back and slightly having this momentum here, the lowest point reached was 10.77. That's a support level to watch, even though we're in bearish territory very closely and how it reacts between this support and the lowest point of the day. And if the bulls try to reappear or if the bears are dominating to the downside. Now, the highest point of the day was 1122. But most importantly, after that's broken and turned into a support, the bulls want to break through the highest point that is key right now. And that is the 50 day moving average. That is 1132 that needs to be broken through, turn into a support. So the bulls can jump upwards to newer highs, deeper into bullish territory 
and get further away from bearish territory, these lows here, and actually use this as a quote unquote bottom and continue the staircase effect, right? Over time to reach newer highs and new resistance levels. Now, if the stock does break through the 50 day moving average, what I would like to see is consolidation somewhere up here instead of just like running up to newer highs and just taking off. That would not be healthy for the chart, but consolidation would. And if it doesn't manage to break through it, well, to stay away from these lows here, stay away from 970, but actually find some consolidation in this area, form a new channel within these levels until the next catalyst to take it up to newer highs. If you learned something new and you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell so you don't miss a single video that I post. Share this with a friend so they can receive the insight as well. And all I ask for is three to five more minutes of your time. I have a ticker symbol to share with you guys, as well as the opportunities I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. We managed to find four home run opportunities at their highest point, 20% plus. And if that's something you want to become part of, the link is down below in the description to the Discord. And we look forward to having you join us. So the ticker symbol I want to share with you guys today is a ticker symbol that's actually gotten to the levels that I've talked about. And the closer it got to these levels, the bigger the opportunity. It's actually bounced off of it. And this is a great time to be watching for strength or even some further weakness, making the opportunity even bigger. But before we look at that chart and everything about that stock, I want to share with you guys the opportunities I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. I managed to find four home run opportunities presenting themselves at the highest point of possibility, 20% plus. And if that's something that interests you and you want to become part of, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together through the volatility of the market, whether portfolios are up, whether they're down, whether the stock market's up or down, we will always look for opportunities daily. So we talked about ARPO about a few months ago, hit a home run with it. Today, it was a home run as well. Talked about SEED, DBGI. We talked about TESS and GBS. And this was our lowest performer of the day. TESS gave us 10 to 15% jumps on the day. Let's look at the other four home runs of the day, how they performed and when we talked about them. So GBS, we talked about it pretty early on, dipped a little bit and ran, giving a highest point of 35% plus on the day. Phenomenal. And gave a second run of 10 to 15%. Then we talked about ARPO, caught this one pretty early as it was dipping in the pre-market and actually towards the bell, hit a little bit lower and took off in just a few minutes, about 35 minutes after the bell. This stock actually gave about 20% plus, pulled back down and continued to take off, giving a highest point of the day, 40% plus. We talked about DBGI, caught this one when it was consolidating after pulling back in the pre-market and took off to a highest point of 20% plus and gave small jumps of 5 to 15% plus opportunities. Then we talked about SEED, caught this one as it was falling towards the bell, fell a little bit more and jumped up, giving 5 to 10% opportunities right away, pulled right back down and took off to a highest point of 25% plus. This was phenomenal. And even after that dip, it gave another 10% plus opportunity. These were the four opportunities and home runs of the day. And if you guys want to know what stocks I'm watching daily, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And we look forward to having you join us. You can become part of it today as well. So what's the stock you want to add to your watch list? It's PSFE, PaySafe. I've talked about this as it was pulling back. The closer it got to $10, the bigger the opportunity. And even before it jumped on the great news that came out back here towards the end of June and the beginning of July, this stock I was stating the closer it got to 10, the bigger the opportunity at the 11s. It ran up, gave a nice 10 to 20% jump, pulled back down so far, 
and it touched the tens for the first time in almost a month the last time it did that was june 1st and here we are july 8th so actually it was more than a month it finally touched those lows of 1080 now the lowest point we've seen this stock reach is 1009 so this is something to watch carefully if it gets closer to the low tens or if it even breaks through 10 and hits newer lows but the lower it goes below ten dollars or the closer it gets to ten dollars if it doesn't break through 10 the bigger the opportunity based off of analysis price targets and the niche that PaySafe is in because this is in the payment processing sector it's a small growing company and as it continues to expand internationally and throughout the whole entire sector itself it's going to get its piece of the pie it may take some time it has a small market cap but it has room to grow and that's what i like about it the most but you also want to remember it was a spac merger so it does make it a little bit speculative until we get more concrete information over time about this company actually being profitable and where they're heading and what's their purpose as always guys this is not financial advice i'm just here to enlighten you guys on the stocks i'm watching and why i'm watching them thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money